guys welcome back to abg spoken english classes today we are going to discuss chapter 24 geography hydrosphere its question answers now we are going to discuss please subscribe the channel if you are not and uh, like and share with your friends this video so first question is now we are going to discuss first question fill in the blanks with suitable words the average depth of the continental shelf is 100 fathoms 1 fathom is equal to 6 feet the deepest place in the pacific ocean is the challenger reef the average salinity of the ocean water is 35 ppt spring tides occur during the full moon what is hydrosphere about 71% of total area of the earth are 361 million square kilometer is covered by water the major water bodies of the world are the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean the indian ocean and the arctic ocean mention the four major parts of the ocean floor the four major parts of the ocean floor are the continental shelf the continental slope the continental plain sorry the deep sea plain the ocean deeps state the difference between ocean currents and tides ocean current the ocean currents are the regular movements of ocean water from the region to another there are of two types of ocean currents one warm currents and cold currents tides tides are the periodic rise and fall in the sea or ocean travel level they occur due to the gravitational attraction of the moon the sun rotation of the earth and the centrifugal force of earth distinguish between spring tide and the neap tide spring tide spring tides take place when the earth the moon and the sun are in the same straight line example new moon or full moon day when the spring tides take place high tides are the highest and low tides are the lowest neap tide neap tides occur on the first quarter and last quarter days in the page of the moon during neap tides and the sun and the earth are in the same straight line and moon in moon is in right angle to the earth how can we conserve the oceans the following are the important methods of conserving of ocean oil transportation should be done through pipelines nuclear waste should not be dumped into the sea or ocean petrochemical industries in coastal regions must avoid dumping influent influence into the sea or ocean dumping of any waste near the parts ports and uh, harbors must be controlled etc match the following fathom where ocean where sea gulf streams sea mount mounts and agals current depth of ocean cold current eastern coast of usa deep sea plain indian ocean current define the following continental shelf it is the shallow area along the sea coast it is bordered by the sea coast and the continental slope the average depth of the continental depth is 100 fathoms this is very important for fishing aquaculture navigation and extraction of minerals 
नेक्स्ट सलिनिटी सलिनिटी इज परसेंटेज ऑफ साल्ट डिजोल्व इन द सी और ओशियन वाटर द एवरेज सलिनिटी ऑफ द ओशियन वाटर इज थर्टी फाइव पी पी टी द सलिनिटी ऑफ द ओशियन वाटर इज वेरी हाई नियर द ट्रॉपिक्स एंड इट इज वेरी लो नियर द पोल्स वार्म एंड कोल्ड करंट्स दीज करंट्स ऑरिजिनेट एंड फ्लो फ्रॉम इक्वाटरियल रीजन टू द सब पोलर रीजन्स दीज करंट्स ऑरिजिनेट इन द पोलर रीजन एंड फ्लो टूवर्ड्स द इक्वाटरियल रीजन द नेक्स्ट हाई टाइड एंड लो टाइड हाई टाइड इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फ्लड टाइड एंड लो टाइड इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ईथ टाइड on the water bodies of the earth there are alternate high tides and low tides bengola current bengola currents are the cold currents of the south atlantic ocean they flow from the south polar region to equatorial region next tides tides are the periodic rise and fall in the sea or ocean level they occur due to gravitational attraction by the moon gravitation force by the sun rotation and the centrifugal force of the earth tides are helpful to the entry of the large ships to the harbor they clean up the coastal area they are helpful to produce electricity so dear students please subscribe the channel if you are not now and uh, share and like the channel thank you for watching